Hello, you are very welcome and thank you for watching our weekly Astro Tarot video series that combines the powers of astrology and of tarot. Each star sign will have a dedicated video. A little bit about me. My name is Lunacraft. My working name is Lunacraft. I am re first and foremost really happy that you're here and you're watching this presentation. Um, I do work on psychic truth. I'm one of the readers. I'm actually an intuitive psychic, which means that I pick up on energy vibrations and that informs me of what's going on for you and around you at that at any given time. Um, but the one thing that I love above everything else is talking to our clients, helping them to find a way to move forward, letting them know what's waiting in the wings for them or indeed finding a different way to view current circumstances or situations. Now, how are these videos working? There will be three elements to the video. Uh, one is looking at the astrological influences that are likely to impact your star sign over the coming week. I'll also be drawing three tarot cards and those will give an indication of where you're at at the moment and what's stacking up for you. Now the third bit is me receiving messages from my guides and when that happens, you'll know, because I may close my eyes or I will appear to disengage in some way. I'm not being rude, I promise. It's just so I can focus in on what they are saying and what they will be giving me are messages to be passed on to you. Um... I'd just like to raise your awareness that because this is whole of your star sign, it will be generalised, the information that comes out. Some of it will sit very nicely with you, will resonate with you, and it will be yours to do what you like with. Use it how you will. However, there will likely be parts that don't sit comfortably. That's fine. It's bound to happen. Welcome, Leo. Lovely for you to, to be here. Um, now, this is going to be the Astro Tarot for the coming week. I'll start off with astrological influences and then move on to look at three tarot cards to see what they're suggesting for the next week. Now, the major things happening this week are that we've got two planets in retrograde. One is Neptune, the other is Uranus. Both will have an impact on you this week. They're both nearing the end of their retrograde. So, you know, they don't want to have unfinished business, so, you know, get ready for this. Um, now, uh, you like to push yourself, Leo, and you tend to think of life as being a party, a Life is to be enjoyed, which is absolutely phenomenal and good. Um, but you need to set yourself 
realistic deadlines. Allow yourself time to do as good a job as you possibly can. Not something that you've rushed at last minute. And I know you have a tendency towards being a perfectionist. So, you know, allow yourself that that breathing spray, space. Um, now, Uranus is impacting your financial area. Um, we've all struggled throughout the last 18 months, almost two years now, with the pandemic. Many of us just accepted whatever we could get work-wise. Um, however, if you feel that you haven't been compensated fairly, now is the time to get yourself to a position where you can negotiate a pay rise, a better deal, because Uranus will be there to back you up. Right, I've just picked up my cards. I'm going to pick out three cards for you, Leo. And okay. That one. And that one. And oh, hang on, I've got two. It's that one. Okay. Let's turn them over and see what's what with the tarot. Yeah. Okay. Right. Okay, so when you set your mind to something, nothing is going to stop you and your progress will be, I suppose, rapid is the best description. Um, and it fits in nicely with... Um, your views of life. Life is for living, life is for enjoying, and that's borne out again by that card. Um, I'm also being shown that you can be extremely energetic. Now, I don't mean to put the sort of doubt into my voice there. Um, you are good at applying your energy to the places where it is most needed and overall you are able to bring balance between your busy times and your rest times. There's also potential for you to form a partnership now, I'm just going to consult with my guides briefly. All right. Okay, thank you. What I'm questioning is whether this partnership will be a romantic one or purely work. Um, it will certainly start off as a work partnership, but again there will be the potential for it to develop into something more substan substantial. I can't say it. Um, so, yeah, keep your eyes open. Look out for opportunities to form partnerships. Have fun along the way. Welcome, Virgo. Nice of you to join me. Um, this is your Astro Tarot for the coming week. Um, the main influences astrologically are two planets in retrograde, that's Neptune and Uranus. 
I'm going to address Neptune first. It's just the way my mind works. It's alphabetical. Um, right. You are happiest when things are well organised and you can see a structure. Now, um, what Neptune is going to do is disrupt your structure. Not dramatically, but enough to, to make you feel less than comfortable. You can ride it out. Just be prepared to, not the right thing to say to a Virgo, but go with the flow. Remain as fluid as you can, because that way you can adapt. Be more um, free with the way that you choose to interact with people, with situations. Now, switching the emphasis or the focus onto Uranus, um, you can be pretty hard on yourself. You judge yourself harshly. Um, please look for um, opportunities to relax, to stop judging yourself. Stop putting yourself through the ringer. Um, at the end of the day, what we're talking about is protecting your mental health. And you should never, ever feel guilty for making that your priority. Um, I always think of like a, cup, a, a glass full of water or empty. If it's empty, there's nothing to give to anybody else. If it's full, you can share it around. And you should be aiming to do. Now, I've just grabbed my cards. I'm just shuffling them to get Virgo energies in. Okay, they're getting a bit sticky, so bear with me. That's better. Right. Okay. I'm going to draw out three cards and see what messages are contained within them. And it's around this time that if they want to, my guides will chip in. So let's have a look. Okay. Nice. Right. All right. Nice cards. The first one is um, saying you're getting to the or near the end of the what has felt like an uphill struggle for you. That is coming to an end. You're almost at the top of the hill and things will get a lot smoother for you. I'm also... Hang on, I'm just checking this with my guides. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Um, I was being shown, and my guides have confirmed it, that there is a vacation in the, you know, in the future for you. Not too far. Um, but now is the time to start planning for that. Um, start putting money aside to enable you to go on, on holiday. And the final card is just lovely. It's showing me that you're just about ready to start out on the next phase of your life journey. And, okay, all right. My guides are saying... This will come to fruition. It will come into being as you learn to relax, 
to recharge your energy and um, to go with the flow. You know, stop being so rigid with your your organization. You know, yes, it it is good. It helps along the way, but it can be stifling. I hope that makes sense to you. Um, okay, welcome, Libra. Um, thank you for joining me. Uh, in this Astro Tarot section, we will be looking at any sort of influences astrologically that will impact on you this coming week. Um, I will follow that up by selecting three cards. Now, Libra, it's quite a busy time up in the heavens. We've got two planets, Neptune and Uranus, who are both in retrograde. They're both coming to the end of their retrograde period. So, if you like, it's underlining all the things that they've been influencing for the past uh, three or four months. Now, Neptune is saying that you are very popular. Um, you're well, you know, you're sorted out, uh, sorted, S sought out by friends and people who appreciate the energy that you bring to the party for want of a better expression um now a lot of your energy this coming week is going to be spent trying to find a balance between meeting everyone's expectations and protecting yourself. So think about how you're spending your time. Also, it can have an influence on your budgets. So try and establish a workable budget for yourself. Um, no, I know that you are attracted by beautiful things. And that includes yourself. But a lot of us have had to let our beauty regimes in particular slide. Now is the time for you to start adjusting and reintroducing your self-care and beauty rituals. Um, and Uranus will help you along the way. But this week is the prime time to be doing that. Okay, let's have a look at the cards and see if they back up what I've just said about the astrology or whether they're carrying other but equally important messages. Oh, right, let's have a look. Three cards, one, oh, that one definitely, and that one. Okay, let's have a look and see what we've got here. wonderful okay i see you and i think this will be you looking at how you use your energy where it's being expended and looking for ways to get as much as possible out of the energy you have available um now as i said i know you are very popular and people seek you out so they can 
bathe in your energy, you know, recharge themselves. I'm sorry to say at your expense. That's fine, providing you are aware of those actions. I'm not suggesting they are energy vampires, they're not. But they get a real boost, both uh, mood wise and energy wise, from being close to you. So again, look for ways that you can accommodate people without draining yourself. And I'm not suggesting that you become selfish, it's self-preservation, and by looking after yourself, you can have more to offer to friends, family, people who need you. Okay, Libra, that's that's it for this week. You've got quite a, a busy week, um, a very important week, and I believe it will be an enjoyable week. Now, I will be... Hi, Scorpio. Nice of you to join me. This is your... Astro Tarot for the coming week. Um, it's going to be quite a full week for you. Um, astrologically, we've got two planets, two powerful planets in retrograde. They've been in that position for quite some time, but they're both coming near the end of their retrograde period. So if you like, they're underlining their messages and you will feel that things are moving. So if you're aware, you can move with them. Right, okay. I am picking up that you've been going through a period of self-reflection. Um, and what is coming out of that is a feeling of being empowered because you're getting a clear idea of who you are, where you are, it can lead you to think, yeah, I've got capacity to do X, Y, Z. Um, set yourself some goals, but do make them achievable and you will meet those goals if you keep your eye on the ball. Um, as far as Uranus is concerned, it comes down to communication clear communication um, and this is going to have a particular impact on your relationship area um, by having um, I was going to say honest but it's not it's clear conversations about what you are wanting to achieve, your partner or partners can get on board and support you. So potentially a really good outcome. Now I've just grabbed my cards to move into the tarot section of this Astro Tarot presentation. I'm choosing ooh, oh, that one. three cards. That one. And let's have a look, see what's come out. Okay. Oh, nice. Really nice. Okay. 
Um, okay, what the cards are saying is the struggle or the things you've been struggling with lately are reducing. The going will get very much easier for you and a lot of that will be as a result of the self-reflection that you've been undertaking. Because your ideas will be um, clear and firmed up, it will make your goal setting and goal achievement a lot more straightforward. Um, now, I'm also being shown, okay, thank you. I'm being shown the hermit. And my guides jumped in at that point with one of their usual sort of jokes, not expecting you to go and live up on a hillside in a cave, not at all. It's more about self-reflection, <laughs> but as a result of that, your path, your future path, becoming, okay, illuminated. That's the word they want me to use for this part. Um, as I said, you will be a able to achieve your goals. So don't think anything is too hard because it isn't. And I am being shown a lot of success for you. Um, a lot of abundance. Now, that doesn't just relate to monetary abundance, but abundance of um, good wishes from people, of support from people. And when it's offered, don't, don't turn it down. Take it and be thankful. Okay, Scorpio, that's it. I'm just checking whether my guides have got anything further to add. No, they're just saying, keep going. Keep doing what you're doing. It's working for you. Okay, and this next week will be really good for you. All right, Leo. Thank you for, for listening and I'll be here next week and I hope you will be too. All right, take care now.